This is the Chris Dawa 100% Blackout Roller Shade. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get installation instructions. They give you two brackets along with the roller chain as you see there. Chain goes through this and will operate the shade. So you pull one side to bring it down and pull the other side to bring it back up. Screws with wall anchors. A safety device for the chain that you can mount to the wall if you need. The shade itself is 72 inches in length, so top to bottom of the window, 72 inches. As far as the width, well, everybody's window is different, so they have different sizes ranging from 20 to 70 inches. So you can look on the uh, listing page for this item and find the different one that's there. And like I said, it's available in different colors as well, so you can get the one that best matches your decor. Uh, as stated, this is a roller shade, so it's not your traditional, you know, pull the bottom and it goes right up by itself. You manually control it. it has a metal bar at the bottom here. It's a modern design as such. And basically what you're going to do is measure your window, measure numerous times in numerous spots to ensure you get the right size. And these brackets can be mounted inside or outside of the window frame depending on the size of the shade that you get for your window. Bear in mind that whatever size you get, the width of the shade is going to be one inch narrower than that. So if you are mounting it inside the window frame, there is going to be a gap on each side. If you mount it outside, then it can cover the entirety of the window. Pretty much all you need to do is figure out where this is going to go, mark your holes, put the screws in, that puts up the bracket, and then the shade fits in that, and then you attach the rest. So here's the bracket, and I've marked my holes. You'll notice that I've marked the center hole of this because for the width that I have, I don't want to go into the molding. So I'm going to use the backmost uh, slot and get that so I can adjust it. And then I will put a hole in the center. I've marked these holes. I don't know if you can see the marks up there. And now I'm going to drill that out. I'm not going to drill the center one just yet. So this way, like I said, I can fine tune these in and out. I'm gonna pre-drill it first because it is going into wood, you don't have to. I also use a manual screwdriver to drive them in. You can use a drill if you want, but I prefer not to strip the heads. So just sort of a mock-up of what it'll look like, as you see right there, bracket mounted there, and on that side. I have just one screw and they're just barely tight so I can make any adjustments I need. Uh, nobody says that you're going to put this up, put the shade in and magically it works. You're allowed to take it down and make fine tuning adjustments to make sure everything fits perfectly so it'll be up there for a very good long time instead of falling down when you need it. And this is what it would look like approximately when it's installed. Now, I have a couple of weird situations with this window because this is one of those crank out windows. So the crank is gonna get in the way of the shade. That's not a problem with the shade, that's just the window. I also have these things which lock the window on each side and whoever installed the alarm put it just at the wrong spot so it doesn't close all the way so that sticks out and all that stuff. But let me go get the camera set up so I can operate this for you. The safety device for the chain, if you were to install it, there are two holes in it there and there. So you'd screw that to the wall. You can use brackets or whatever you need, you know, uh, for the wall. So the screws stay in the drywall. And then this clip would go on there. You'd pull it all the way down so the chain is tight inside of there. I'm not going to be installing this myself, so I'm not going to put it on there, but you would do that and have just a little slack in there so you can operate the chain. And that way, if uh, an infant or someone like that were to grab this chain, they can't strangle themselves with it and asphyxiate themselves. 
So that's what the safety device is for. So now we're all set to operate the window shade. I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to have to help it over this stuff because like I said, that is a problem with my window and that. I chose the light gray color, as you see. They said there's going to be a gap on each side. That is perfectly acceptable because it blocks, you know, really 98, 99% of the window. So that's all good. And that's especially helpful in the afternoon. This window faces west, and we know the sun sets in the west. So when that comes down and shines through this window onto my computer screen, I can't see it. So this is going to be a huge, huge help for those times of the day. And then I can raise it back up just by pulling the chain like that, and we're all set. Just like that. So you can operate that up and down as much as you need. It'll go much lower, it's 72 inches like I said, and it's perfectly blacked out. There is no light leakage through the shade itself. The sides are the sides, but the window shade itself has no light coming through, so it is 100% blackout. So once again, this was the Chris Dawa 100% blackout window shade. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.